Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. With the rapid penetration of artificial intelligence technology in various industries, Huawei's strategic adjustment to shift its ascent computing architecture towards the field of general graphics processing units, GPGPU, has sparked heated discussions in the industry. The transformation of this technological route not only reflects the iterative upgrading of the enterprise's own architecture, but also reflects the general doubts of the entire industry about the development prospects of application-specific integrated circuits, A6. Can the path of adhering to dedicated chips continue under the wave of accelerated general-purpose computing? In fact, from a commercial perspective, the CUDA ecosystem has a wider range of application scenarios in various fields. For example, Boydu Kunun has long been approaching the CUDA ecosystem, and Cambrian is also exploring more open software platforms. Huawei has recently adjusted the development direction of its AI chips shifting from its self-developed dedicated chips, A6, to more general-purpose GPU chips, GPGPU. Just like how customized phones have shifted from being feature phones that can only make calls to smartphones that can install various apps. This indicates that domestic manufacturers are returning from technological nationalism, to commercial rationalism. And this transformation is almost inevitable. In the global technological competition, complete independence is neither realistic nor economical. A wiser approach is for key notes to be autonomous and controllable, while non-critical areas embrace open standards. Why is this a wise choice? Just like how the success of Apple phones is not only due to good hardware, but more importantly, it has a large number of app support. NVIDIA's CUDA platform has 4 million developers, but Huawei used to focus too much on its own ecosystem, resulting in developers being unwilling to use it. A dedicated chip is like a customized suit. It fits perfectly but can only be worn once. Universal chips are like sportswear. Although not perfect, they can adapt to various occasions. Most developers are already accustomed to using NVIDIA's platform, and Huawei's new approach can make more developers willing to try. The transition of Huawei Ascend from ASIC to GPGPU is like an apology ceremony. The grandiose words of the release of the Ascend 910 back then seem quite dazzling now. However, Wang Renshuan's statement that 90% of ASIC projects are destined to fail has come true, becoming a precise slap in the face to Huawei's technological roadmap. When the Ascend chip first debuted, the technology stack of ASIC architecture plus ANN operator library plus MindSpore framework looked perfect, like a technological utopia. However, ideals are full and reality is fragile. The fatal problem with Ascend chips lies in ecological adaptation. Developers need to rewrite operators, modify graph optimization, and start over the entire inference process in order to run a model successfully. The project that was originally completed on the NVIDIA platform in a few days now requires several months of adaptation on the Ascend platform. 
Huawei's engineers probably never expected that their carefully crafted artwork would be so vulnerable in the market. For customers who have already boarded the train and risen to fame, they are now facing the classic dilemma of sunk costs. A corporate AI leader privately stated, SN has good performance, but its ecosystem is too closed. Every model upgrade feels like surgery, which is both time-consuming and laborious. This kind of mentality is easy to understand, it's like just renovating a house and suddenly discovering a fundamental flaw in the design and having to demolish and start over. What makes customers more conflicted is uncertainty. How compatible are the old and new platforms? Will the product roadmap be adjusted again? In the face of technological choices, customers not only want performance, but also a predictable future. The transition of Huawei Ascent architecture from ASIC to GPGPU actually reflects the deep dilemma and rational return of the domestic AI chip industry. This shift exposes a harsh reality. In the AI era, the integrity of the technology stack is more important than a single breakthrough. Huawei has strong hardware capabilities, but its software ecosystem weakness has become a fatal weakness. NVIDIA's success lies in realizing this early on. Huang Renshuan, under shareholder pressure, invested $500 million annually in CUDA, which seemed crazy but was actually a precise investment in the future. This adjustment reflects Huawei's pragmatic attitude. Admitting mistakes requires courage, while timely adjustments require wisdom. Huawei has chosen the latter between face-saving and practicality, which in itself is progress. From a macro perspective, this may be a sign of the maturity of domestic AI chips. In the past few years, domestic manufacturers have generally emphasized hardware over ecology, believing that cheap performance can naturally win customers' trust. Huawei's experience tells us that this idea is too naive in the rapidly developing field of AI. The importance of ecology far exceeds the performance of a single product just like the success of the iOS ecosystem. Apple's hardware is excellent, but what truly makes users inseparable from the iPhone is the App Store ecosystem. Wherever the developer is, the user is there. Wherever the users are, the market is there.